Football's gender pay gap dispute is really kicking off, with the world champions taking their bosses to court. I think it's fair for us to ask that when we play a game and we win that game, or we tie that game, or we lose that game, that we should be paid the same as our male counterparts. It's four years since the US team learned they were paid a quarter of what the men earned, despite generating more than $20 million more than the men that year. Is this discrimination? Of course it's unfair when two people who put in the same amount of work and have the same amount of success are paid differently. That's a given. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of historical reasons as to why there are, is more money in the men's game compared to the women's game. But Lewis FC don't just talk a good game. We took the decision two years ago to introduce pay parity uh, across our men's and women's teams. And we think that most clubs should do that. Every club should be doing that. Though in reality, they're not. The gap is enormous. While Harry Kane gets 200,000 a week from Tottenham, his fellow England captain, Steph Houghton, is paid just 1,500 pounds a week for Manchester City. And she's one of the top paid players. We're told female athletes get less because they generate less money, but the playing field is hardly level. Women's sports received only 0.4% of total sponsorships in 2018. But women's football has changed and is winning a bigger fan base. Over 11 million people tuned in to watch the Lionesses play the World Cup semi-final. It's not quite the 26 million who watched the men's semi-final the year before, but it's almost half. And some nations like Norway and New Zealand are paying men and women the same. Now the Netherlands has committed to go Dutch too, so is it time for club sides to reevaluate the value of all their players? Ultimately, it is a choice for those clubs to decide whether to invest in their women's team or not. And of course, it's the right thing to do, but it's also a smart thing to do from an investment side because that's where the growth will be.